Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to more Adventures with Witcher 3. So, we wrapped things up with Triss. We helped her uh, help Alfred Vengelbert escape from the Witch Hunters who were closing in around him. Next up, I believe... I believe I have found the missing quest from the previous episode. It is... Cardinal Sins. This is the one we need to do about um priscilla telling this story my dear reader will tax me greatly it is a dark and somber one encompassing the greatest sorrow my heart has ever known it all started the day of the grand opening of my cabaret everything had been spit polished to perfection all that was left was to wait for priscilla whose performance was to be the crowning moment of this glorious evening it when the doors of the comedian o burst open it was not she who stepped inside Instead, it was a messenger from the Vilmaris Hospital. His pale face and countenance dour, he informed us Priscilla had been badly wounded in an assault and was currently tottering on the brink of death. So that is what we're going to do. We are going to go and find out who was trying to hurt Priscilla. We've got a lot of points to put on as well, but we'll worry about that after. We need to go meet with a Von Graz. So we'll probably just quickly fast travel. Pretty sure it's just back in the town. Von Graz is the guy uh, from the morgue, actually, isn't he? Um, oh, around the back. Okay. There he is. Well then, ready for a stroll through the sewers? <laughs> ready and intrigued. You lead. Oh crap, I need to put my armor back on. So. There we go. Preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? <laughs> Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Whoa! Okay. Gotcha, okay. How's it look? Give it to me straight. No sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Oh, Surely no. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobrit. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. How? What? Take the ladder. quicker we take care of this the better why got somewhere to be someone might disturb us the coroner for example or reverend nathaniel pastodi very well we seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcock calluses on the fingers sawdust in the beard clothes sticky with sap must be our dwarf excellent i trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood not a bit start the autopsy where Legs. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. 
the ankle swollen, toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies. We surgeons, we've a different sensibility. Mm-hmm. And a different sense of humor. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, um, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Mm, but why? The wound is too small to bleed. And there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy. So the victim wouldn't die too soon. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Ach, was horrible. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt. Wait, smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat's scalded. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin, an incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. Where are your gloves, man? but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken or this is our murderer's doing. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. All right, that's it. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid, all centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. 
Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. Oh, no. I'm Hubert Wright, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. And as always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirance was attacked there. City to buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, the alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. All right, we've got a lot of investigating to do. But the rest of this episode is quite long. So we are going to be leaving this episode right here. If you have enjoyed it, go down below. Hit that thumbs up. If you're enjoying our Witcher 3 playthrough, subscribe as well. But most importantly, have a nice day and bye-bye.